Hello Summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we'll be talking about the best champions to take to rank 5 and uh, usually when I make ranking videos or tier list it's like a top 25 video or a quick tier list video updates and stuff but this time we'll have to discuss a little bit because rank 5 they are kind of rare uh, you have one class rank 4 to 5 gem available in the game right now and which is kind of crazy uh, like maybe you don't have a great champion to rank up for that class and you'll have to end up fading or go with someone else so here we already have you can see so many tabs opened up we already have picked the champions that are ideal rank 5 candidates and we'll do some honorable mentions later so in order to make this a average video it's not super duper long let's get started so first we'll talk about the science class and um, the first champion we'll talk about is Quicksilver. He has pretty decent prestige as you can see right here. And uh, on top of that he is useful in a lot of areas, can do a crazy amount of damage relatively quickly. And uh, overall a very strong science champion with decent prestige definitely makes the list. Uh, now the other science champion we have is Scorpion and if I move ahead you'll see we move to the skill class. So we just have two characters in the science class. and before we talk about scorpion i kind of want to talk about why i don't have human torch here who i believe is a very very strong science champion and my personal reason is that he's just enough honestly he's enough at rank three but at rank four is definitely enough like an ideal matchups and stuff he's gonna be good enough in story content and stuff like again mistakes or champions where he can get his charges he's gonna be super duper quick either ways you don't really need the extra rank in my opinion and he doesn't exactly have the best prestige so uh, you will see that similar trend follow some with some champions you know even with magneto um i think rank three or rank four is kind of enough because against hashtag medals you don't really need anything else is just overkill uh, if you ask me so yeah uh, scorpion again kind of same thing you know uh, very good damage output especially with a synergy uh, and uh, very very useful in battlegrounds can be used as a defensive option as well i remember him being pretty annoying in one of the metas and uh, yeah scorpion is pretty solid overall uh, next up we have the skill class where we have slightly more options in my opinion again and first off we have Nick Fury now if you go back this is by the way sorted by prestige uh, you can see Nick Fury doesn't really have the highest prestige and I just said for Human Torch that that is a big factor although uh, a rank 5 Nick Fury would be kind of crazy annoying uh, on defense you know like that's a big health pool to take down and then you have him go back to 100% and if you have him at a decent signature level uh, he'll degenerate back to 30% sure but that 30% of a rank 5 is again a lot of health and anything with a timer that can make things stressful and mostly when I say this I mean battlegrounds I, I personally I would never fight a 6 star rank 5 Nick Fury I would always insta ban that guy and uh, on top of that you know attack wise as well you can just use them anywhere alliance war stuff um, you always have the second life to fall back on so you have the safety aspect there or if you're just going for the damage then you in the second phase the damage output for rank 5 nick fury i imagine is going to be crazy crazy good and uh, yeah that is why he is there not to mention like everybody knows how the characters work i, I assume when we're talking about rank 5 champions you are at that point of the game where you know the kit of the character, especially someone like Nick Fury who is super old and not that complicated. So I'm not going to go into his tactical charges and utility and stuff like that. So uh, next up we have Shang-Chi. Now Shang-Chi in my opinion is a character who is going to be pretty good at rank 5 because you know like the massive SP2s and stuff. Uh, prestige wise let's see how he is doing. Uh, he's not that bad. You know the, most of the characters up here. Uh, I would probably have Shang-Chi over them with the exception of Valkyrie who is there in the list uh, and we'll get to her in a second but Shang-Chi a lot of utility you can access uh, the fact that you have 
the option to access exactly what you need at what time like you need a slow you can do a medium medium combo you need to go unblockable uh, you know the medium and followed by three light attacks and then um another medium oh wait uh, two light attacks and a medium and you'll go unblockable a full normal combo you'll stun the opponent and everything so uh, basically yeah you can choose the utility you have solid damage you have decent prestige uh, overall a solid option can be used pretty well in battleground not particularly in this meta but uh, overall you know he is useful and he is not really a defensive champion though uh, next up we have valkyrie who has been pretty impressive in alliance war and battlegrounds and uh, of all the champions i have here has the highest prestige now baron zemo is super new i wouldn't really recommend as of now taking him to rank 5 uh, thor ragnarok i wouldn't mantis not now now honorable mention wise this is hit monkey um, his health pool is kind of low from what I hear but he can be used as a defender and on all attack he is definitely a nuke option very very high damage output and you can say the exact same thing on some other characters like Black Panther recently did a damage comparison where at rank 3 he finished in 37 seconds like Winter Sol Realm of Legends Winter Soldier 37 seconds that's pretty impressive and uh, yeah like with a few synergies his damage output can be pretty damn crazy and even without synergies it's really really good uh, the AI kind of needs to be aggressive you need to intercept with him and stuff like that but uh, the potential is there so if you are looking for new option skill classes fill with them cross bones it's another new option uh, with a lot of utility uh, and then uh, black widow deadly origin massacre massacre uh, Falcon is a character who is very good in battlegrounds but personally I wouldn't rank 5 him rank 4 is good enough again the same logic for torch and stuff although I don't think like extra damage would be nice to have on Falcon he unlike torch and um, uh, you know Magneto he, a rank 5 Falcon wouldn't really be overkill the, the, the faster fight would probably uh, count in battlegrounds and stuff like that but for most scenarios rank 4 is enough and uh, yeah even to be honest agent venom with synergies at rank 5 must be crazy you have to be crazy to do it but <laughs> once you do it, it of course you can't use synergies in some place any place like battlegrounds and i would not recommend taking up a rank 5 champion if you can't use him in a game mode as important as battleground unless of course you don't care about it then that's another thing but <laughs> i bet a rank 5 region when i'm with full synergies would be pretty damn crazy now uh next up we have uh kingpin who is the best option in the skill class in my opinion although he doesn't have the best prestige he's the best skill character in my opinion at this point super am useful pretty much everywhere in the game very versatile highly sustainable great defensive ability reduction can shrug off debuffs lot of utility decent amount of damage high sustainability makes him a top champion in my opinion and definitely worth ranking up moving on i think we have the mutant class now mutant class is going to be interesting for a very long time it was considered the strongest class in the game i do not think it is anymore i think cosmic class has taken that title uh, do let me know how you feel about that uh, but um, pre again prestige wise nimro uh, uh, nemo i would not rank five i personally have him at again rank three and i think that's enough you know you can ha use him in a lot of scenarios there are some annoying nodes where he will end up being useful and some matchups where he will end up being useful if you have him at sick 200 but again because they're so niche matchups you don't really need him day to day and uh, you probably would be better off using that resource on someone else and uh, Sauron is a great defender by uh, like he's a great defender uh, especially like uh, when you're making it to the gladiator circuit before i think platinum pretty much i feel like nobody really knows how to play against sauron before that and it's like a guaranteed round pretty much uh, i don't know why people use archangel against him he is immune 
uh, you don't don't dark angel him please and uh, then moving on actually you know what do use archangel against him if i am facing you but anyways speaking of archangel the first character that we'll talk about is archangel who if you see here is pretty low we have 40 characters and he is almost like i don't know how many characters uh, there are but probably towards the bottom of the list but archangel is very very crazy and you can maybe i am a little bit partial i have said this before he is my favorite character in the game and uh, you know besides the list i always say if there is a character uh, that you enjoy playing and you don't mind ranking them up over characters who you know are stronger but you know maybe not as enjoyable for you then go with the character so for me i can have the entire mutant class here and i would go with archangel as my first rank 5 Unfortunately, I don't have him as a six star, which I regret a lot in battle counts because he is pretty much one of the best attackers, despite what the meta is, whatever the mode combination is. There are modes that can mess with, uh, mess up with him, uh, mess up with this kid and stuff. And there are champions you can't use Archangel against, but you don't like. Even today, somebody commented. Uh, the thing is, just 30%, 30 percent, 30-ish percent of the champions are immune to bleed or poison or both. So 70 percent of the things in the game, Mark Angel is usually either the best option or a top option, and that is why having him at the highest rank available is always going to be a good thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, you can say that about Torch and Magneto as well. I guess now that I think about it, because they are also high damage output champ like if it's overkill with them why not with archangel that kind of makes sense but yeah uh, he's my favorite so i'm gonna have him here and uh, yeah if you don't care about prestige then i would definitely do it uh next up we have kitty pride who has decent prestige but more importantly is a very strong character in the game especially if you run suicide mastery especially if you have a weekend she can she basically will not take any damage while she's in phase which is super duper helpful she can cheese a lot of stuff and a very strong like i don't need to tell anybody who isn't at the point in the game where we're talking about rank fives that kitty pride is a good champion and um, next up we have the tech class wait i, I just had two mutants and i had apocalypse i don't know where he went i had him Apocalypse, I feel like, is probably the best prestige mutant champion that is also going to be useful everywhere. Uh, he's great for quests. In Act 8, he was very, very useful. I do like using Cable with him. Uh, not because of Cable, but because I hate building him up, you know, till the time he gets 4 charges. He isn't really good damage output wise. After that, he's great. Um, but uh, apocalypse is also a very useful defender i would not use him on offense in battlegrounds to be honest because he is kind of again because you can't use synergy so you are going to start with one charge so you, you'll be pretty slow and um, uh, yeah uh, like uh, if you don't have four charges what you have to do is uh, basically use uh, sp1 with a medium attack to get one debuff sp1 with a light attack to get the other debuff sp2 with medium attack to get one debuff sp2 with light attack to get the fourth debuff and then you can keep them up while if you have the four charges you get both the debuffs in one special attack which makes him much quicker the strife synergy can also make him much much quicker uh, but apocalypse in my opinion because of his prestige because of his defensive capability and in story and other areas of the game because of his offensive ability as well uh, he is a very solid option to rank up other than that Let's see if we have some honorable mentions. Professor X is a character that personally I'm not a huge fan of, but I have seen him do crazy stuff. So he has good prestige as well. So if you if he is your type of champion, then sure, go for it. Uh, maybe Sunspot. I, I don't know. Personally, I would not take Sunspot rank 5. Not uh, Bishop, maybe, because of his defensive capabilities. And again, offensively, he is great as well. A uh, solid champion to have anywhere in the game. So, not the best on either, but pretty damn good on both, which kind of makes him decent 
and not terrible prestige i guess in his class but at this point like from anything top uh, which is not like top 7 top 10 then you you can't really consider prestige at that point uh, and other than that i magneto i was kind of talked about it i don't think you need rank 5 magneto in any situation at this point maybe in the future when rank 5s become more common uh, colossus with synergies would be crazy at rank 5 i imagine but again bad prestige plus the fact that you need synergies although in this current meta if you're not in the circuit the normal um meta um he is actually pretty annoying on defense as well because of the armor up and the power burn uh omega red if you have him at a high signature level and if you are running suicide masteries then i would but otherwise i would not and that is it i don't think anybody else uh, domino maybe because again he is kind of an all rounder uh, the same thing as bishop uh, except i think outside of battlegrounds uh bishop is both a better attacker and a def- better uh, defender although you know domino can do some crazy stuff sometimes especially with the red hulk synergy she is a little bit more consistent uh so let's see now we are at the tech class and tech usually used to be my least favorite class i think i have most champions of the tech class here yeah yeah so Let's start with prestige please. Actually, you know, the first four characters are all pretty damn good. Captain Sam Wilson, I wouldn't rank 5. Rocket, personally, I would not rank 5, but it would be fun, you know. Maybe when it's not that uncommon. These three, I think, are all great characters who also happen to have amazing prestige um and uh, they are, you know, kind of all rounders can be used on especially omega sentinel can be used on defense can be kind of annoying and on offense as well pretty damn good although i hear she has a lowish health pool recently got her haven't really played with her that much nimrod i am really enjoying playing with him he melts every single mutant and while you can apply the same logic as torch he does have good prestige as well so having her, him uh hayo is not actually going to be a bad thing and nimrod overall i feel like is also a decent defender especially in this meta but even generally you know he, he his special attacks take so long in battlegrounds that is kind of enough like if you can even if you're not super hard to fight if you can waste enough time sometimes that's all you need uh then we have penny park uh, mostly a defender can be used on attack um like i mostly see her as a defender she's all right on attack as well and uh, let's just move here so a ghost terrible prestige i'm sure she's at the bottom here yeah so terrible terrible prestige if you take her up you probably not you, uh, like you probably don't care about the lance quest that much but at the same time like i i personally don't care about a lance quest that much i don't care about prestige that much and if you like ghost she is still one of the strongest champions in the game especially paired up with her synergies but even without the damage is still very very good i don't think there are that many 2018 characters it's 2023 it's crazy how ta- time went by it's like what for years later because uh, she was released she wasn't really anyways <laughs> maths is hard especially at 12:47 am um but she is still a crazy good champion damage she has it utility she has it prestige she doesn't have it defensive purpose she doesn't really have it but damage and utility she is so high that she is kind of still the best tech or the second best tech some people consider nimrod to be the best tech whatever very very useful champion to have so i would rank 5 her warlock okay so his damage output was decent when he came out but again as i just established that was a while ago 2019 doesn't feel like it but it happened a long time ago and at this point i feel like his damage is very very average or slightly below average uh, especially if you're talking about good champions then it's below average but 
He has a lot of utility, especially in alliance war and battlegrounds where the opponent have masteries, and you can drain their power. You can control healing. So some she has like power control and heal control, and on top of all of that, he has damage over time. He has armor ups. He, he there are just a lot of scenarios where you can use him. Uh, he has armor break on the SP two as well. And uh, prestige wise, how is he? Not bad. Mm, bro, like not good, but not bad either. So yeah, I think he is an option. And uh, then little bit of spoiler loads then we have nimrod so nimrod in my opinion is the most obvious uh tech rank up like if you have nimrod and you get a tech gem uh, kind of a no-brainer although i will say this rank 5 nimrod is gonna be very intimidating in battlegrounds probably gonna get banned and if i'm being honest even rank 4 is probably gonna get banned uh, same goes for Alliance 4. But next up we have the strongest class, as I said, the Cosmic class. And what I just mentioned kind of applies to a big level. Like, even now a lot of people don't rank for their Gallants and their um, Hulklings because otherwise they will always be banned. Especially Gallant. Uh, so they kind of try to hide it towards the bottom of the roster of the deck and um, Like I've heard that But at the same time a rank 5 Hulkling and Galen would feel pretty damn amazing. Let's just go with it. Null is a champion who is pretty strong. He is Where is he? Uh, yeah, he's pretty decent prestige wise uh, That's kind of good he has a decent amount of utility, very good with suicide friend, uh, like very suicide friendly as well. Um, and uh, the damage output can be good, although for battlegrounds probably not the best. It's, it takes a little bit of a ramp up. So he's not, he's more like honorable mention. Uh, and other than that, like the champions that I'm mo mostly gonna talk about start with Cosmic Coast Rider. Crazy, crazy damage. The higher you rank him up, the crazier the damage will be. Uh, and uh, that's it <laughs> like the damage is just so insane he has the best damage in the game if you're not counting Hela with the old synergy there's just no one that can beat him uh, DPS wise so that's why he is uh, also he's just super fun to play in my opinion like his rotations and all and at some point the damage just becomes utility so that's why Cosmic Ghost Rider is here and Hulkling and Galen are battleground MVPs they are super annoying they can be used as like Hulkling is probably the like you can pick him you can use him on defense you can use him on offense how is he doing in prestige wise I did he has super high prestige <laughs> like the, the, this guy is pretty crazy if you think about it so crazy prestige uh, great defender great attacker pretty much throughout the content and with Galen I will say this his damage is crazy for battlegrounds absolutely insane nobody comes close but for slightly higher health pools it's not as good as Hulkling Hulkling can kind of overtake him in something like realm of legends when we are talking about rank 4s maybe at rank 5 Galen can make that work but anyways next up we have Hercules if you have a cosmic gem and you have a Hercules uh, I don't see a better option because second highest prestige in his class crazy crazy damage not the best but really really good and he's pretty much immortal he, he does not die if you have him at sick 200 it's kind of hard to die with him sometimes and he is probably the cheesiest champion out there you can use him so much in stuff like incursions in battlegrounds the cheesiness the like immortality you have to be at one percent and these days show zero percent even when you kill your opponent if you have uh, immortality you kind of it shows you zero percent and it takes so many points away that at least in higher like vibra vibranium diamond black maybe and gladius hook it everything um you're probably not gonna win if you are finishing at zero percent health because you're losing on a lot of points 
but everything else in the game i can't think of a better character in my opinion the strongest champion in the entire game so if you're talking about rank 5s go with him kind of even decent on defense if i'm being honest because he can be some immune which uh, like you know he, with a massive health pool if you are sometimes stun immune can mess up with some champion rotations and even not getting parry is always going to be annoying in the game it's not going to be the hardest thing you know i remember a time where if you can't parry a champion then uh, they were a nightmare but now that people know how to and it does it's already a long video i need to go fast now um next up we have the mystic class the final class that we are going to talk about today and um, i have a pretty big honorable mention if you do not care about prestige at all then i would personally take juggernaut to rank 5 i think he is good enough his damage is great he's amazing in battlegrounds he used to be pretty much only a defender so i assume he's still okay on defense i have no because he's so good on offense and i haven't really seen people use him on defense anymore uh, do let me know if he is or not but just on his damage output and just on his usefulness in battlegrounds i would personally rank 5 him if again you don't care about prestige uh not the, the first option or anything but yeah then we have clear warren who in my opinion is very tricky like she doesn't have the best damage especially if you're not running suicide mastery she actually has super high i think at one point she used to have the second highest base attack in the game that doesn't really mean anything uh the actual damage and the stats are not always the same uh i think although at one point uh 87 percentile from king root eh, i don't know about the stats but basically the damage is slightly it's better than warlock i think especially if the opponent is immune to something or if you go to a third mode like the incinerate mode then uh but uh, she has a crazy amount of utility even in battlegrounds i see her being used all the time and a lot of times if the opponent takes black widow deadly uh, black widow clairvoyant that can really mess you up and your defense because she can counter so much because she can just do so much and she also has she death mechanic which actually won me a match recently in battlegrounds and I, i it's like her weakened ability is so less talked about like it's not talked about at all i was surprised like i was like is it a bug why am i not dead yet and then i was like oh yeah i used sp3 that makes sense but um, yeah i think she is a very strong character her regenerate like if not if you're not talking about battlegrounds she will be slow but she can finish every fight at 100% health she can be immune to three types of debuffs she can power control she has burst damage mode she can heal very very strong solid character and uh, yeah uh decent prestige decent nah. not that decent anymore used to be pretty high i guess then we have rentra i have i'm going to say i think 60 70 at least 70% of the time i place when she on defense the opponent times out maybe more maybe more but rentra is the most sustainable champion i think in the game maybe king root the regeneration wise but otherwise like this guy at rank 5 in battlegrounds would be so damn annoying especially if you don't have like archangel or something uh yeah like this guy is such a tank that rank 5 it, it would just be even crazier and then we have tigra i will kind of have a disclaimer here only in the right hand tigra i have her at rank 3 i've used her in a few scenarios in some eop fights and stuff she's great but the better you are with her the stronger she is and there's just no limit to that uh, you have to be really really skilled you have to know the spacing and then she is probably one of the strongest champions in the game uh, but for most people like average skill players she's good champion in the game not the best and not worth rank 5 but if you are 
like if you are crazy about her then you will take her to rank 5 even over Doctor Doom who is the next character and the final character we'll talk about today because Doctor Doom wait, do we even have to do we have to talk about Doctor Doom I think a lot of people have talked about Doctor Doom enough he has the highest prestige in his class he has I will say this slightly controversial he, like I either did not have him in my recent top 25 list or I just had him at spot 25 just because <laughs> otherwise people would have commented um, and asked me about Doom but Doom is a character who straight off th like when the 5 stars does not have the best damage you go for sp3 he has good damage you go for the other sp3 he has great damage but then the, both the furies are gone if the fight if fight is over with the sp2 of when you have both the furies from the doom cycle great if you have to build up the furies again not great <laughs> dps wise uh, he's not great for short fights he's not great for long fights he is great for a very specific range of fight dps wise uh, battlegrounds he's okay but you can't skip sp3s which is very annoying and you have to sit through it all while the timer is on so overall i don't know damage output wise i would probably give him a 7.5 out of 10 that's what i would give him utility wise power control wise there is no one better uh, they strictly power control wise magic is better if your goal is the opponent should not reach sp3 there is no one better than dr doom overall control of the fight after you throw that first sp3 is insane that's the best thing about dr doom it's hard to explain if you if you don't know how he works if you have not used him it's gonna be hard to explain but it's amazing like after the sp3 even though the fight technically isn't over actually it is so yeah that's why dr doom is so strong but prestige decent on a great on attack decent damage high utility uh great defense very very tanky and overall like there's not m many places in the game where you would not want to bring dr doom which is why he is so good although probably gonna be a very very common option so if you want to do something different go with the juggernaut or a hood maybe hood is also very very good in, ba in battlegrounds and stuff personally would not rank 5 him but uh, there are some people who really like him and saucer supreme is also gonna be another honorable mention and defender wise like this is mostly an offensive list so yeah that is pretty much gonna do it for this one we have a lot of characters in the game did not talk about that many um probably i, I don't know how many characters we talked about some classes we just have two or three so yeah uh, do let me know if i missed anyone or if you have a rank five do let me know who it is and how uh, are they like what kind of damage are you seeing with them? That's pretty much gonna do it with this one. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, like, share, subscribe, stay safe, have a good one, and bye bye.